Hello everyone. It's time for another video. As promised, I would I was uploading another one on Friday, so this will be up Friday night. So I wanted to talk about the two new orchids I got today. So the first one, this some of you may recognize this. This is a Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis. This is a fairly good sized seedling. Two growth directions. This one's maturing a leaf on this end right here, and this one's just starting growth, although I don't think it will show up very well. You can kind of make out that little yellow bar shaped thing. But it's su they're super, super healthy looking and super happy, and I'm so glad. I, I made a little hanger hook thing for it so I could hang it sideways because that's, that's how I prefer to grow them because they grow, they'll, their leaves will get several feet long, and so you grow them on their side and you can get them to grow downwards a little bit more easily. And then I've also got this fella right here. This is Dendrobium sweet scent, a little sweet scent, which is a hybrid of Dendrobium parisii and Anosmum. And this is a, it's a beautiful pink with a very like sweet, strong, very very strong sweet raspberry kind of smell. And it's got this is a first time bloom plant, and so it's got it's only got five buds this year, but it'll, ho it'll hopefully have more in the future. But they're already a pretty good size, and they smell amazing. The cool thing about this this hybrid is that the, when the buds are just beginning to crack open, like you can see the sepals starting to split apart in preparation to open, you can already start to smell the fragrance come out. I, though I helped pack one today that smelled that you could smell the fragrance from the buds just starting to emerge or starting to open. And so these came from Kelly at New Earth Orchids, uh, a local seller here and I am super happy with them both. This is a deciduous syndrobium and that's, and that's why it's leafless and you see the buds but then also take a look down here and there's a growth beginning right there. So these buds should be open within a couple weeks. They're pretty good size. I am just in love with this plant though, and of course I'm in love with the Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis too, but this this Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis has at least another foot and a half before of le like the leaves need to be at least another foot and a half before the plant will start blooming. And so it's still got a ways to go. I'm going to have to upsize the pot already soon because it's already growing off the edge. So I think after these growths mature I'll repot it and I'll get it, so just probably just slide the pot into a bigger pot honestly because it's so so packed in there. But this one I'm gonna have to repot when it finishes blooming as well into a slightly bigger pot. But it's it's still it's a little unsteady in there because it's so tall and it's been staked upward. I personally would prefer this plant having been grown at, downward over the edge of the pot, but to save space and for shipping purposes and whatnot, this is just easier to grow or easier to have it set as. As you can see, it's staked all the way up here. But super excited for this one. I hope I can get it to um get the flowers to look. I don't know how long the flowers last. I think it's just a couple weeks. But they're just so fragrant. It's it's so worth it. And I've seen this this hybrid or this hybrid in bloom before and smelled it and it's just amazing. And Enosmum is a very like popular species and Perichia I think is fairly popular as well and this is a very popular hybrid. And it, as the name implies, it's very, obviously a very nice fragrance. So I'm super excited about both of these. And so now that I've got that out of the way with them talking about the new plants, a couple quick updates. See if I can get, get it down and get it to show up very well. Come on. Oh yeah, kind of. It's a little back lip. You can still see it. The Falcata spike. The second spike is starting to take off over there as well. So that's looking good. Got the big spike on the phalaenopsis here, and everything's orange because there's another light right there that has more of an orangish color. Phalaenopsis is still blooming, and obviously got the dendrobium. Everything's just kind of growing right now, but also the Bellina spike is growing. You can probably make that out, like the lighter green portion. So we'll we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll have more blooms soon. But there's a lot of healthy, nice, good growth. Lots of roots. So yeah, it's a quick little update and then a quick little talk about the new plants I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.